Have you ever been in a work situation where someone just walked up to you and said, hey, let me give you some free advice? While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Want some free advice? Let me give you some advice. Can I give you some advice? Sometimes the advice is actually pretty good. Sometimes it's not. But it's usually very tough to follow. Keep watching and I'll tell you why. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp and this is Motivationeer Christian Coaching. There are actually a couple of reasons for this. I'm not gonna get into all the psychology of it as much as I would love to, but there are two things that I wanna highlight. First of all, when someone is telling you they're gonna give you some free advice, they're not asking you, which means we're usually not in a mindset to be looking for that input. When someone just says those words, I'm gonna give you some free advice, it kinda of instantly breaks into our left hemisphere pattern and we get some stress hormones flowing through us. It's usually something that, at least for me, I think it is for most, uh, but please tell me in the comments if it's not for you or if you definitely agree, it's a confrontational way to communicate an idea to somebody. So when someone is not asking for the advice and someone just kind of butts in and get, gives them the advice, that kind of alerts our adrenaline system, our stress system, and we tend to want to fight back. So even if the advice is really great, it's not always easy overcoming that um, defensive initial reaction. I'm not saying that the def defensive initial reaction is okay to do, and I'm definitely not saying it's wrong to do. It's just very natural. And as a result of that natural side of us, it doesn't really sink in whatever it is being said. The second one is, if someone is not ready or in that mindset to receive advice from us, they don't have an investment in carrying out that advice. We're not really meeting them where they're at. They don't invest cognitive resources. They haven't created a, a mindset to absorb information in an area that they've decided to change. So there isn't an emotional investment in that. So without there being a cognitive or an emotional investment, specifically in the area that the advice is being given, it's very hard to, even if you love the advice, really put it into action. So let's say you're in a situation where someone walks up to you and says, or they're in a discussion with you about something at work or your career or your deliverable or your boss or your employees, whatever. And they're like, let me give you some free advice. They're basically asking you to just listen to them in that moment, no matter what you're thinking or feeling. You're doing it wrong, they know what's right, go do this. So the opposite of that, and when it can be somewhat easy to follow free advice, I think really one of the few ways is when you ask someone for it. Or when someone who is talking to you wants to give you that advice, they ask your permission to give the advice. Like they say, hey, I have a thought about this, may I share it? Or what would you think if I gave you another perspective? Or what do you think about me sharing my opinion, whatever. This is when that free advice, it's given a little bit of time, a buffer for the person to kind of get into a mode of, you know, okay, yeah. Hopefully they'll be free to say no. Hopefully they'll be courageous enough to say, nah, I'd rather you just listen right now but if they do say yes, then it makes it a little bit better. It's way easier though, if you want to get some information across to someone to wait until you think they're ready for it. Find out by asking other questions. Dig around the area that, in fact, I think even if we dig around for areas that we think they could change, it's still kind of pompous on our part. Who are we to say what they're gonna benefit from, although we do it all the time. So when you do get free advice, I do recommend us not kind of pushing back on it very hard, but realize, okay, for me to take this advice, even if it's brilliant or from a brilliant person or someone you respect, it means going away and getting into a mindset, a mental space, an emotional space where you're gonna think through what was said, the foundations of why it's said, 
the context of the information and then come up with your own plan on how to implement it. Other than, otherwise, free advice is really hard to follow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationear.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.